I did something yesterday that you guys might be shocked. I don't think you'll get it in a million guesses. How about the what did Dan do yesterday game? Oh, we got theme music. Fritzy, I'll let you start with the first question. Did it have something to do with going to a museum or no. checking out artifacts? No. McLovin? Well, actually, my first thought was something you didn't do. The two thoughts were, did you skip spin class or did you eat carbs? Those are things I would never expect out of you these days. I skipped spin and Whoa. skipped carbs. Paulie? You went boating of some type, some type of boating or nope. water skiing. Nope. <laughs> nope. This is something health-related I did. Blood transfusion, elective. No. Health-related on a Sunday? On a Sunday, health-related. Oh. Yoga? No. It's something far more extreme. Once again, you'd be shocked. If I did yoga or spin, I don't think you'd be shocked. It's some sort of, like, you know... Severe Eastern medicine kind of thing. <laughs> not something Eastern medicine. Do a rock climbing, like real rock climbing, not a rock climbing wall. No. Mm. Pritzy? Yeah, I was going to say that you climbed some kind of mini Connecticut mountain or something. Okay. You ran a 5K. I No, I can't run anymore. My entire body was involved in this. Oh, you swam. Nope. Damn. How extreme are we talking here? Just crazy. Extreme. Extreme temperatures. Sweat lodge? Oh, cryovac. Cold wet, cold thing. I did the uh, cryo cryotherapy. So you go into this. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it's like a, a small looking shower. Um, and then you wear like a bathing suit or boxers and you have socks on and they give you gloves. And then... You stay in there for two and a half to three minutes, and it goes to 200 degrees below zero. And you're in there, and it, it freezes you. And then you get out, and then your body temperature is supposed to be around, you know, 40 to 45 degrees. And it's supposed to help inflammation. As you guys know, I have terrible inflammation. And so my wife, as this is my Father's Day gift. I got a B12 shot, and I got to go into cryotherapy for three minutes. How, yeah. How did it feel immediately when you got out and 24 hours later at the cryotherapy? It felt uh, good immediately, but I have not had any benefits, you know, 24, you know, uh, 18 hours later. But, you know, B12 shot and it's, uh, yeah, cryotherapy. Yes. Yes. For did sure. you come close to uh, tapping out? Is there a warning no. button or a safe word? No, there's anything? somebody right there with you when, they, when you're doing it. It didn't make you cryotherapy? Oh, I see what you did. See what you did? Cryogenic. I, I did not. I uh, I didn't cry out for uh, for help. Yes, yes, McLovin. As the time is running out, are you just like counting the seconds? Is every second you're in there more painful? No. I've I'll, heard I've been in one for at, a, at an exhibit just for three seconds that I would had to get out. It was terrible. No, I was fine. I you know I fine. Even, yeah, I was. I was good. I probably could have done another minute in there. What? Yeah. But you have gloves on. They give you mittens, and I had socks on. And then you just go in there, you have a robe on, you take off the robe, you hand it to the woman, and then, you know, I said, did it start yet? She said, yeah, you're a minute in. And I go, oh, well, this is awesome. All right. And then I got up to three minutes and then uh, let me out. Yeah, Paul. I sense a staff cryotherapy challenge so you could stand in the longest. Well, no, they can't do that. Oh. I think three three minutes is the most. <laughs> they got waivers? You no. Know, uh, do you think any of us, after doing this, would ask to leave before the three-minute mark? Is it that uncomfortable? Well, Fritzy, just from feeling... He has the most insulation. Claustrophobic. I know, but he would be claustrophobic. I, I could see myself saying, get me out of here, regardless of what the temperature was. But it, it gets cold. It gets cold quickly, and it's uh, 200 below. And I did that and got my B12 shot. Yes, McLevin. No, I understand it's wildly popular among professional athletes. I saw all the yes. Bradley Chubb, the NFL draft prospect, did it his entire... He's I think 22. LeBron does it every day. Yeah, even like 22-year-old athletes yes. do it almost every day. I did an infrared sauna for 30 minutes, and then I got into the cryotherapy for three minutes, and then I got a B12 shot. Infrared sauna? Yeah. It's a, once again, all this has to do with inflammation because I have terrible inflammation, and I'm, we're trying to figure out how to get rid of it or at least reduce it. 
And so my daughter said, you should try this cryotherapy. And then she explained it to me, and I said, all right, I'll do it. I mean, at this stage, I'll do anything. You going back? Yeah. Yeah. They suggested to try it three times, and I'm going to try it three times and see what kind of you know results. Yeah, Fritzy. Once they stop prescribing it, can you see yourself continuing to do that as far as how pleasurable the experience was? Well, it's not pleasurable. <laughs> I could... <laughs> There's nothing pleasant uh, about no, it well, at no, all? No, no, it, wait. It, it's not like a <laughs> rub. Yeah, but you're sitting in a sauna for 30 minutes. You're there freezing. Yeah, if, it, it's, it's, if it's that horrible. No, but but there's nobody in there with me. There's not a masseuse. There's not, like, what do you think is going on I don't here? know. I, just, I have, I have, a, I have a, no, big expectations it, it, No, that. no, no. There's nothing pleasurable Richie about was that. watching me make me cryotherapy <laughs> on <laughs> Showtime the other night. So it's something you just got to endure. And hope that it's going to reduce the inflammation. Yeah, yeah. Really it's, but it, it, it's, you don't go there and go, I'd like to be pleasured. Let me put me in the cryotherapy <laughs> It's there. not something you'd find in the local spa. No. Like, hey, man, I can't wait. You uh, give me that B12, baby. Well, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, I'm a close. Is this a beginning of some sort of Dan Patrick healthcare product, DP12? No, 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 no. I, I will gladly follow somebody else. Somebody else can be my Mr. Miyagi, my sensei. But I'm just trying to figure out how to get rid of inflammation. And I did the cryotherapy. I, I'll do it a couple more times. Yeah, Paul. Are you going to pressure us to do it like Alex Guerrero does nope, with the Patriots? Nope. If you guys want to, uh, you guys can come down, get a B12 shot. Does that work for inflammatory bowel disease? Should I be getting a number and a contact from you? <laughs> I don't know. It might not be pleasurable, though, for you, Fritzy. That's disappointing. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.